I'm here with Art Parkin at the Carriage House Retirement Home in downtown Oshawa. And uh, how are you today, Art? I'm very fine, thank you. So let me ask you this. I've heard about all these wonderful works of art on wood that people are getting around here. And you are uh, making them for everybody in the building? Is that what you're doing? Every resident is here. I've made one for, and now I'm making them for the staff. And what possessed you to start doing this? Just something to do. Well, that's that's great. Yeah. Now, where does this uh, artistic background come from? What have you done in, in your lifetime? Nothing. I was a machinist by trade, but uh, I got into woodworking when I retired and uh, making furniture. And uh, then, I, then I started doing portrait carving, three-dimensional portrait, and uh, that went well. And then I couldn't get to couldn't do it anymore because I couldn't have enough strength to do it. So then I would quit. And then I come over to the retirement home and I started to, just the face carving. So it works good. I, I've i noticed a lot of cartoon characters. What what do you look for uh, in the person? Is there some something that reminds you of these people and or the cartoon characters? That, that was how I started out. I started doing the uh, like the first ones I did here were uh, the, my three guys at the, at the supper table, and uh, they were all in. I put them as, a, as um, a hillbillies, riding mules or you know in the old style hillbilly, and I made the three of them, and uh, they got a kick out of it. So I started keeping kept them going. Well, it seems like you like to put a smile on people's face. Eh? I I enjoy seeing people smile. I get a big kick. If I can get a laugh out of somebody, I'm happy. That's great. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. that's wonderful. Uh, can you show me how you work about how you make these? Sure, I can. <laughs> I'll give you a hand. All right. So you you have your your apron, your shop apron. Yeah. I made this at home when I was doing stuff at home, so I wouldn't get it all messed up. Okay, that's and great. And then this is the tool I use, mm -hmm. and uh, that's basically it. I take one of these carvings, or one of these pictures, and I trace it on wood. So who's that one for? Oh, this one here is, um, they, uh, they're, uh, that was for a minister and his wife. And that's your signature? Yeah, AWP. AWP. And then you you put uh, color into the some yeah of the when they come and... back from the the Vera thing mm -hmm. then I put the color on them. So Art, what else do you carve? Anything else? No, I do no more carving. But when I was at home, I had my own workshop. I used to design and make furniture. Do you have any pieces here? Just a, just three pieces right here now. It's a real beautiful one. Look at the spindles. That's pretty uh, elaborate. In the detail. Wow. Yeah, the bar. What about this chair over here? This chair was my in-laws' wedding wedding present, and it was refurbished. It sat down in the cellar and was started to rot out. The rungs were gone. The split cheese was split. The back was gone. You know. I basically rebuilt it. It's beautiful. Well, it's looks like it's going to last a lot longer now. Art, do you have any others that you've finished? There's some over there on the, on the chair there. Okay. Oh, these, so these ones aren't quite finished. Yeah. This one here, my grandson is getting married in next June, a year from now, and I'm going to put their name, I'm going to give it to him now to, to put the Verathane on. And then I'll carve the names in it after. Pebbles and Bam Bam. Yeah. That'll be my grandson. <laughs> they look like they're in love. Yeah. <laughs> and and the one for Beverly? That's Beverly.
they look like they're they're from artworks from the uh, Second World War. What they well, they could from be the yeah. posters. They could be. Back, yeah. uh, Betty Betty Boop. Oh yeah. Inspired. Yeah. And who's that one for, Mary? Uh, yes, for Mary, yeah. And this is for Ray. Is he Irish? I don't know, but I don't, this is why I see them, eh? <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, and, and, who, who's, and uh, who's that one? This is for Margaret. She's a nurse. Okay, I can see that. I know Margaret. Yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah. And this is for Don. He's just a new one coming here. <laughs> well, he'll be very honored to get yeah. that. And this is Doris. And that's from the, you know, the, uh, the lady on the I Love Jeannie. Or I the, Dream of Jeannie. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, but I yeah. wasn't sure. Yeah. So, well, but, uh, no. I've got 125 done. 125? Yeah. That's that's incredible. Yeah. Have you ever thought of, of making prints from these? I, I look at them and I see them as No, I've blocks. never. I have never thought of prints. Yeah. Are, are you interested in maybe trying sometime? Sometime, maybe. Yeah. yeah. I never I never give it a thought. Because you're making woodcuts. Yeah. Yeah. I got I got a good kick out of it. And I enjoy the people. Well, the other day, I, I gave one to a guy uh, a couple of weeks ago. And he just said thanks. And then on uh, last Friday, I think it was, he came up to me and he says, I want to thank you again for what you've done. He says, every time I look at that, he says, I get really feel good about it. So, Well, that is fantastic. Yeah. And, and I'm, I'm so impressed by your talent. Yeah. I wouldn't have uh, known about you if I didn't notice uh, a woodblock of Wilma Flintstone in my mother's apartment here. And I asked her, uh, what, what's that? And she told me about you. And I, I said, I got to meet you. And, and thank you so much for sharing oh. your talent with me. And uh, let's let's uh, keep going. And yeah. maybe we'll do a print of them someday. Okay. okay. Very good. All right. Thank you very much, Art. You're welcome. Thank you.